So this is a family ceremony taking place in the Dutch city of The Hague, uh, where the Munzer family is welcoming a new baby boy uh, into their embrace and into their Jewish community. But in this case, the event is taking place in the shadow of German occupation. We are in the occupied Netherlands, and it is the spring of 1941. And a new little baby named Alfred has been born, and his family is taking a very big risk to give him his name and to uh, participate in the ancient Jewish ritual of circumcision uh, to welcome Al as a member of their Jewish community. But this photograph, which we are the guardians of now at the museum in Washington, represents so much more than just a moment in time. Because not long after this photograph was taken, Al's parents made the very difficult decision to separate from their children in order to try to save them, to protect them from the Germans. And they placed their two daughters, um, who were preschool age, in hiding, and they put baby Al in hiding with another family. Many, many things would happen to these young children over time, um, and their parents had no way of knowing whether they were safe, whether they were alive. But the mother had these photographs, and she kept them with her. She kept these photographs with her, hidden on her body, through a series of concentration camps and eventually a death march. And she became convinced that if she was to lose these photographs, it would mean that somehow her son was no longer alive, that the baby that she had had to leave behind wasn't safe. So she held on to these like a talisman, um, like something that would somehow allow her to protect him from far away. Uh, her two older daughters uh, had a very tragic fate. They were in hiding with a woman um, who bravely was sheltering them at great risk to herself, but whose ex-husband uh, was angry at her and denounced her for hiding Jewish children. And she was arrested and the two little girls were taken away and eventually killed in a death camp. Not even in this case particularly because they were Jewish, but because of a grudge between arguing spouses. Baby Al was much more fortunate after a series of hiding places, he eventually found safety and also love in an unlikely home, in the home of an Indonesian immigrant um, named Tole Madna. Um, he was a Muslim man who had come from a Dutch colony and who took in this little blonde Jewish boy, clearly not a part of his family, did not look like him or his children, and they kept Al physically hidden in their house for more than two years. It's hard to imagine keeping a toddler quiet for a few hours, but to keep him inside the house was an extraordinary act of bravery. And Al survived the war. He remembers those years and has described them to me as life through the mail slot, that his understanding of the outside world was what he could see by looking through the slot in the front door where letters were delivered. And these photographs were the only photos that his mother had of them. His father died. Uh, right at the end of the war, and his mother survived and came home. She came home to the horrific news that her two daughters had been killed, and to the comforting news that her baby boy had survived as she'd hoped he would. But he didn't remember her. When she finally tracked him down and came to where he was, he didn't know who this stranger was and did not want to be held by her, and they had to rebuild their relationship. Uh, so there is so much pain, so much loss, uh, embodied in these very simple images that a mother clung to through years and years of hardship and brutality. <laughs>